As an ANSYS partner since 1984, we are highly committed to helping you design, simulate, and succeed. This video will demonstrate how to create a transient animation in ANSYS Fluent. Animations are commonly used to communicate technical information associated with transient simulations. What we are looking at here on the screen is a simple fluent setup that demonstrates vortex shedding. We have air moving in the positive x direction that is flowing over a cylinder. And what I'll do right now is just create a simple contour plotting uh, velocity on one of the symmetry planes here. And we can see as the air is moving across the cylinder, we have a vortex that is uh, trying to form here and we'll create a transient animation of this and uh, take a look at it. So first thing we'll do is open up the animation definition panel by double clicking the solution animations button down here in the outline view and we'll choose that contour that we just created. You always want to preview the animation view uh, before starting your uh, simulation just to make sure the appropriate view is getting saved and uh, I think I'll go ahead and use uh, the front view here instead of that default isometric view. So we'll just go ahead and click OK. Come over here to the Solution tab and click Calculate. And we'll notice as the solver is iterating at each time step, this uh, contour is getting updated. If we were to go into the Working Directory, uh, what we'll notice is a bunch of HSF files are getting generated. These are the uh, basically the image files that Fluent is spitting out as the solver is iterating. What you'll also notice when you're creating animations is a CXA file. This CXA file is nothing more than a sequence file that references all of these HSF files that are being created. If you were to open up the CXA file in some sort of text editor, you would notice that is that it is in fact just a sequence file uh, that is referencing all of these HSF files that are being created as this simulation is running. So we'll just go ahead and let this solver finish iterating here. And now that the simulation has finished, we can go back into the outline view, expand the animations menu, double click the playback button to open up this playback panel that we're looking at here. And we can see the animation sequence that we had just created is shown here. And we can just hit the play button to play back that animation that we have just created. You also have the ability to write out a video file. You can open up the video options and choose a format, uh, whatever format uh, you want here. I'll just use MP4 here with the default settings. I'll click OK, and we'll go ahead and write out uh, that video. While that video is writing, I wanted to show you that you can open up a fresh Fluent session at any time and play back animation files whenever you want. So all you have to do is, of course, you know, double click this playback button, open up play, the playback panel, hit the read button, and you'll notice you just, you just want to find that CXA file, that sequence file. We'll click OK. And now we see that sequence reference here in the playback panel, and we can play back that animation that we had just created in uh, any Fluent session that we want. So it looks like that animation has finished uh, you know, writing out the video file. So we'll just go ahead and open up this MP4 file. And we can see we have a uh, video file here that demonstrates the vortex shedding here uh, in MP4 format. Contact us today to discuss your unique physics challenges and find the right ANSYS tools for you.